what we're going to do with this is we're going to create a two-track layered bass sound. And to get that, we're going to use the Torpedo Wall of Sound plugin. And to reamp and come in, we're going to use the Torpedo Reload. Now, most of the time in rock and metal, what you'll wind up doing with a distorted bass track, and the most common approach is you'll get one solid take of an amped or a direct signal, then they'll duplicate that track, and they'll add an EQ that looks about like this, with your lows cut, your highs cut, your mids are basically what's left, and then that's where you'll add the distortion onto it, they marry them together, and that's your bass tone. What we're going to do is a little bit different in that we're going to run a basically finished solid bass track. We're going to duplicate that in the same way, but what we're going to do is take that other track and cut all the lows and some of the low mids out of it, use it for mostly high mids, high, and also our distortion. It's a lot closer to something like Doug Pinnock from King's X would do, that kind of massive wall of sound, bass sound that we're going to go for. So let's get a track in and we'll deconstruct it and see how the tone was put together. Okay, so we've already got the amp track in, and I've duplicated it. We're doing bass low and bass high. Now, the cool thing about using the Wall of Sound plugin is that you don't have to just use one cab per track or a single simulation. You can stack as many cabs per instance of the plugin as you want. So for each channel, I could use one, two, ten, however many cabs I feel like I want to stack on and you can go seriously insane with this thing. Uh, for the bottom end, I'm using a 410 and an 18 put together. So let's solo that and hear what that part of the sound sounds like. So now the bottom track was fairly dark and uh, carried most of the weight of the sound. So on the high, what we're going to do is just use a single 410 and dial out a lot of the bottom. I'm using an EL34 on this one to give it some high and upper mid bite. And in front of it, I'm also going to put a distortion. Uh, this is what's going to obviously give us our distortion and it's also blended so that we're hearing the top end of the signal coming through blended with that distortion at the same time, not just pure distortion. So now that we got that soloed, let's see how that sounds on itself. <laughs> So now let's hear them together again and add some drums underneath and hear how it all glues together. So you can see how in a matter of minutes you can put together a huge layered sound with a ton of options that would usually take an absolute ass load of live gear and microphones and treated rooms and even from here you can keep tweaking and exploring pretty much limitless possibilities so to finish out let's uh, run some guitars also through the torpedo gear and get a full mix going i hope this helped you out with a few new ideas on your bass sound and let's check it out <laughs> 